الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام علی سید الانبیاء والمرسلین دس از مجیب خازی اینڈ یو ار واچنگ وی او کے ٹی وی وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ فلائٹ آف کشمیر وی ہیو ٹو لک ان ٹو تھری ڈفرنٹ آسپیکٹس آف اٹ ہسٹوریکل بیک گراؤنڈ آگسٹ ففتھ چینج ان اٹانمس اسٹیٹس بائی انڈین کرن بی جے پی رجیم اینڈ ویئر وی آر ٹوڈے اٹس امپورٹنٹ دیٹ وی انڈرسٹینڈ دا ہسٹری بیک گراؤنڈ آف دس فلائٹ before 1947 when india and pakistan was being made there was 465 to 565 states that comprised of subcontinent most of them became part of india others became part of pakistan there were three muslim majority states those were run independently were given choice whether to be part of either of the union or remain independent Kashmir being one Muslim majority ruled by Hindu Maharaja. Historically, by virtue of its inception, Kashmir was an independent state. People of Kashmir were never given a chance whether to join Pakistan or India. India took the case to UNO and the world promised that they will withhold plebiscite inside Kashmir, giving the chance to the people of Kashmir to decide whether they want to be part of India or Pakistan. that never took place fast forward india pakistan fought three wars over it now india pakistan and china have all three of them are the nuclear power and the flash point is kashmir 37% of the kashmir is with pakistan 43% of the kashmir is with india and rest of it is with china so all these three nuclear power are enjoying the portion of the pie but the people of kashmir The struggle for the freedom started long before 1947 but struggle continued since 1991 till today Kashmiris for the pursuit of independence have lost over 100,000 lives if you come first forward with the current regime in India under the leadership of Narendra Modi who once was the chief minister of Gujarat who massacred over one over 2000 Muslims and burned them alive while they were breathing their houses for burn life european union usa and other free countries have banned narendra modi the current prime minister of india to enter in the countries because of his heinous crime that he has committed on humanity when he became the prime minister of the country under the diplomatic immunity he was able to travel around the world but one thing is important for people to know that he is a lifelong member of rss which is an offshoot of german nazi ideology whereby his ideology is that india is for hindus only and hindu supremacy has to spread across the subcontinent which comprise of bangladesh pakistan afghanistan nepal and the neighboring countries in order for them to do so they had to change their citizenship law inside the country where they strip off the citizens of millions of people muslims were treated as a second class citizen the leads christians and other minorities in the countries were given a substandard citizenship in inside the country there was an organized movement by rss inside india including kashmir chopping off the heads of the muslims muslim girls who covered their heads observing the religious scarves their scarves were stripped off they were killed their heads were chopped off with knives in public video was made and they were circulated to create the harassment and the tyranny inside of the country and it all happened under the watch of current regime the sad part is the world of powers have remained quiet since then unfortunately even today people in kashmir and india are facing the same tragedy A story comes out in kashmir when at night they black out the entire city of 10 million people where you have a 1 million boots creating city of srinagar as an open jail the biggest and the largest in the world an open jail when a young girl who wanted to study because the exam were on a forthcoming and there was no power there was a short battery life left on her phone she turned the light on and started studying a cop spotted her from the window forces barged in picked up all the pins including her father brother young brothers and they took them with them 
none of them came back. Similar stories are coming. There was four young toddlers walking on the side of a lake. An officer came and pushed them all into the lake. Upon inquiring, he re responded that we have section 144 imposed, which means that you cannot assemble more than two people without realizing that these were all infants and youngsters. Thousands and youngs have been picked up. Girls are being used. The rape is being used as weapon of war. Young youth has been taken away into incarceration camps outside of Kashmir in different parts of the country. They are not being given rights to counsel, right to speak. 84 million people in the region of Kashmir comprise of Ladakh, Jammu, Srinagar, Azad Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan are being deprived from their very basic right of freedom. They have never been given chance. Oftentimes, India, Pakistan, and other world powers host dialogues amongst them, excluding the Kashmiri leadership, not giving them the chance to be represented in any of the dialogue. This has been going on for over 70 years, and their trouble continues. August 5th, change the dynamics in Kashmir. Drugs are being used to destroy the youth. They are being kept out of schools. Health system has been destroyed. Once Kashmir was a thriving economy, their orchard of fruits have been destroyed by design. Demography has been changed. Most of the people have lost their businesses and the land because by revoking the Article 35A of their constitution allows Indians to move in inside Kashmir and start buying the land, acquiring the citizenship. So if and when international community wakes up and host a plebiscite inside Kashmir, the demography would have already been changed. That's where we stand today. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.